Hello my fellow lovers of beauty. Today I'm coming with a quick share of how I create my decorative towels. Getting started, I want to share with you the items that I use. This is some Christmas ribbon that I had from last year. This is a little face towel I got from Walmart, my scissors, and my trusty dusty glue gun. First thing I want to do is to form the towel <clears throat> in the shape that I'd um, like to use it. So being that it's a little face towel, I'm trying to set the middle part within the towel, two flaps at the middle. Then I'm measuring off my ribbon, which I intend to wrap around the towel. I'm set that off to the side. Now I want to lock in my shape and to do that you can either sew this in place or that's if you want it permanent. Me, I'm just going to use my glue gun to do this. And I'm showing you here that I'm placing a, form, a dot at the top, the center, and at the very bottom considering this towel is so small. I then I'm going to tap it with my iron just to get me a crisp shape. Now to add the ribbon. Ironing it out a bit here as well because again it's from last year so it's been stored. I want to get those wrinkles out. First placing the ribbon I want to start with the front layer. And I want to get that adhered so I can make sure that it stays. So I'm just going to put some glue at the very back and apply it, apply the ribbon to the towel. Then I'm going to flip it over and the ends I'm going to adhere to the towel with the glue gun still and just flipping them over to the um, back of the towel as well. And you can see here you don't have to cut the ribbon to wrap all the way around the towel. That's totally up to you. I just do it uh, up to the very sides of the towel to make sure it's covered. And you're going to tap that again, just again to keep the towel crisp. And there's some beauty right there. And you can stop right there if you want. If that's the style you want to go with, you could stop right there. But I want to add a bow. So I'm going to cut me a little bit more of my ribbon and this is the wired ribbon just so you guys know it makes it a little easier for these projects but you can use any ribbon and still pull this off. So to shape my bow I'm just folding the ribbon one flap over the, uh, over the other. And there you go and then I'm just going to hot glue that together. You see how the wire ribbon makes it so easy to, to, to shape that. That's why I love it. I'm hot gluing it together there. Now to form your bow, just pinch right in the middle. And here's where the wire ribbon makes it a lot easier to manipulate and create your bow just as you see as I'm doing there with my hands. So now you have your bow, just move it off to the side. Go back and cut you a little strip of material again, or ribbon again, to create that middle piece to cover the bow. Again, flipping it over and over, and over in. Show you that there. And you're just going to high glue those ends down.
Now that you have your little, little strip ready, you're gonna take that and place it in the middle of the bow. And once you have your placement ready, just hot glue the strip down. You then want to cut off the ex any excess excess of the ribbon, and voila! There's your cute little bow. Next, we want to adhere the bow to the towel. Again, still using my glue gun. And there's our beauty. Again, if you want any of this to be permanent, you can simply sew this. Every piece of where you saw me do the hot glue, just simply sew it, and that's permanent. Permanent, or you can use the um, the I think it's called liquid sew now that they have out, and that's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. I also want to share with you guys um, the fact how I sew the towels. So I just want to show this with, to you. Um, if you decide to use this technique, you can simply do some slip stitching at the back in various spots or you can choose to go down and sew the entire towel together. Um, I then iron the towels and this is the decorative towels only guys and it just gives it a crisper look, a more put together look. Um, it makes a huge difference to iron your decorative towels in particular and I'm going to show you the difference. You see how wrinkled and wrinkled and messed up that is huge difference all right I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I hope it helps hope you provided some inspiration if you have any questions or comments please leave them below um, I do thank you for taking this time out of your day to spend with me and as always continued blessings to you all. Bye-bye, guys.